Well, Natalie, I guess I gotta imagine probably a team, a team probably as athletic as that. They just seem to be able to kind of get inside on you guys a lot tonight. Yeah, um, definitely we knew they weren't shooters besides two of them we had a scout on, but um, and we knew that coming in that they were gonna try to get to the basket and all their guards were fast. And so it was just important to stay in front as best as we could. We, but that was our game plan and tried to execute it as well as we could have. But they definitely got to the rim more than we wanted them to. Hard to prepare for that, simulate that in practice? Yeah, um, a little bit. But I think our scout team does a good job whenever we do that. But um, yeah, we definitely don't have as many fast um, players as them. Marta, what's it like? They did a lot of two on two on two pick and rolls. What's what's the right or how do, how do you try to defend that? And what were they doing to, to get to the to the rim a little bit? Uh, yeah, coach told us that they are not shooters, so just go back and wait for them. But they were fast, and I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. we we did the things we had to do, but maybe we could do it better. Mm -hmm. Feel good to get kind of. Your shot back going a little bit, kind of uh, in the flow again tonight. Yeah, but I mean, the most important is the team. So I have to do the better I can to help the team. So the most important is if we win or lose. So yeah. Natalie, you guys are I think up 15 to four, and then you're down 11 early in the second quarter. I mean, did that kind of shock you a little bit that they were able to get on such a big run like that? Um, I don't think it shocked us as much as, I mean, in any game, teams are going to make runs. So I don't think it was as much of a shock that they were um, going to make a run. They, they made, made a bigger run than we would have wanted or anticipated. Um, but we, yeah, they definitely outran us in the second quarter. And I think our coming out, we didn't, we kind of got comfortable. Mm -hmm. And they took advantage of that. Mm -hmm. I guess, Natalie, I'll, I'll let you answer this one. I don't, I, we don't know what happened, but obviously the injury with Jordan seemed to kind of shake you guys for a couple yeah. of minutes. I guess just talk about seeing a, a teammate go down on the floor like that. Oh, yeah. Um, it's really hard to watch. Um, no one wants to see anyone do that. But it, it does shake you up, and there, there's nothing you can do about that. And it was just trying to focus on getting Skylar subbed in. I, we just made sure to make sure that Skyler was on the court, ready to go, just encouraging her and um, just encouraging each other that Jordan's, it's going to be okay, whatever it is, um, the injury. But definitely just focus on it, try not to focus on it as much and just focus on the sub coming in and executing after her. Marta, what's, I guess, what's the, the thought process for the next two days? You know, you got another home game coming up on Saturday. What do you guys got to get done in the next couple of days to kind of shake this one off a little bit? Yeah, I think we just have to forget about this game and focus on the next game, prepare the next game, and execute whatever coaches told us. And just focus in the next game. Conference games goes really, really fast. So we have to just focus in the next game and try to do it better.